Tonight, we're exploring the world of germs, the good ones, and what we can do to protect ourselves from the bad ones. Now, the germs we've been discussing so far may be gross and disgusting, but they're usually not life-threatening. However, there are plenty of bugs out there that are. For instance, each year, nearly 2 million Americans pick up a serious infection during a stay in the hospital, and about 90,000 of these patients will die from their infections. Someone who knows all about this is former model Dulce Gomez. I was living a pretty good life. I'm a model, I'm a mom, I have a three-year-old daughter, and I live at the beach, and basically my day consumed of walking around, exercising, visiting friends. You know, it's, it wasn't bad. <laughs> Dulce's life was good, and when she found out she was pregnant with her second child, it was supposed to get even better. I found out I was pregnant, and for some reason, I just knew instantly that something was wrong. So I went to go see the doctor, and they gave me a regular checkup, and they found cancer. And I just never imagined something like that would happen to me. Dulce was diagnosed with a rare form of genital cancer. After receiving the devastating news, Dulce had a tough decision to make. I already had a daughter, Isabella, and she's three. So the doctor suggested that I terminate the pregnancy because my first priority should be being here for my daughter that I already have. Following serious reflection, Dulce decided to continue with her pregnancy and underwent surgery to remove the cancer. But her road to recovery was far from over. Although the cancer was gone, something potentially fatal had taken hold. When I got home, about two days later, I ended up getting a temperature, about 103. Dulce's surgical wounds had left her susceptible to infection. What she'd contracted was a dangerous antibiotic-resistant germ, or so-called superbug. These highly aggressive antibiotic-resistant strains are everywhere. So Dulce could have contracted her illness from wherever she went after leaving the hospital. Along with the fever, Dulce noticed the area around her surgical wound was inflamed and hot to touch. So doctors immediately readmitted her into the hospital. Apparently, I got an infection. But they never really told me what the infection was, but they did say it was something that was pretty rare because it took about five days to find the appropriate medication to get rid of it. But three weeks later, the redness came back. But this time, it was about 10 times worse. And my whole body, from my stomach to my legs, were just red. So when I finally arrived to the hospital, the docs looked at my legs and my stomach. It was just like a movie. Everyone's rushing in. And then this doctor is telling the father of my children that this is serious, that she probably won't live. And I was, I was screaming, and I was just praying. The attack on her body was so aggressive that the doctors needed to take dramatic measures to save her life. They had to put slashes in my legs to take the bacteria out. It was just awful. And after the operation, they sent me into isolation. You know, the isolation that you see in movies where people have to come in with masks and like you couldn't be touched because I was so infectious. And I was pregnant at the same time. After surgery, Dulce received a combination of broad spectrum antibiotics to kill any residual infection and spent the final weeks of her pregnancy in bed with home nurse care. You just never, never imagine that something like this could be your outcome after a surgery. The former bikini model was left emotionally and physically scarred from her ordeal. My career is gone. The relationship between me and the father of my children is gone. You know, the, you know, the emotional damage it did to everybody, everyone in our family. Even though Dulce almost lost everything, she still has something to hold on to. Well, after all that, I, by the grace of God and a lot of praying, I ended up giving birth to an eight and a half pound healthy baby boy. It's funny, when you see my son, you know that something happened. We fought through the worst fight together, and we got through it.
Now, Dulce suffered a rare complication of a serious infection, but at least her condition was treatable with antibiotics. Imagine if every time you got an infection, you were completely helpless. No medication could treat the infection, 